Dwayne, how much is it asking of you to, 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 to because, you know, you made your bones in, in, in large measure as a defensive coach. Now, you know, now we're looking at uh, the Toronto Raptors shooting a lot of threes. How much of that is going to increase pressure on you? None whatsoever. I think it's great. I, I'm excited, uh, Jeff, because that's where the game is going. Look mm-hmm. what Pop did. Would you say Pop? I think Pop is a great example of coaching where you evolve. There's a lot of coaches. I think George Carl evolved as I remember him. Rick yes. Carlisle changed as an offensive coach where you, instead of going inside and getting the inside shot, you know, you, we all evolve as coaches. First of all, the game is going toward that. Jeff, it's a huge part of the uh, of the NBA now, and and uh, you know I think we've been preaching it throughout the season. We've got to make sure we shoot more threes. We've got to get at least thirty threes up, uh, twenty eight to thirty threes. Right now, I think we're at twenty two or twenty four somewhere in there, and we got to get that up to thirty, thirty two, uh, if possible. And again, we're just not going to jack them up. We want quality shots, and that's why our players this summer are working their butts off. So mm-hmm. it's not a, a you know, again, first of all, I'm a basketball coach. I'm not just, I just don't know defense. I, I've been in this league a long time and know the offensive game also. And, um, you know, Nick Nurse is an excellent offensive mind. Uh, Rex Galamian coached offense at OKC. So, again, I, you know, I don't want to make a, I don't think a big deal should be made. This guy's a defensive coach. This guy's, you know, we're basketball coaches. We know the game. We know which way the game is evolving toward. Uh, and, uh, again, it's not something that just we got hit over head and say, hey, we got to play this way. We've been working on that this entire year, trying to transform into that type of playing, and uh, I think we're closer than we think as far as playing the style of play that's uh, effective to win in the playoffs. Dwayne, do you think that that evolution of the game, with the emphasis on the three, do you think that's permanent, or is somebody going to come up with uh, something <laughs> counterintuitive here then, and, we'll, and everybody will be following in their wake in five years? That's a great question, Stephen. I've seen it all. I've seen the Shaq years, uh, the Sabonis in the league where you had to have the big guy to get it inside. Uh, we have a great interior post-up player in, in Jonas Valanciunas. We're in, in, encouraging him to work this summer on his three-point shot. So I've seen that evolution. It's been coming. I think it's what Commissioner Stern, uh, when he put the rules in, the freedom of movement, you can't uh, bump a player, you can't impede his, uh, his mo- movement. I think the game is going toward that. I think uh, viewers and fans enjoy it on television. Uh, There's a prettier game. So I think it's here to stay. I think it's uh, the days of the, the, the 45 to, six, the six, 60 to 70 point games are over. You're going to have some throughout the year, but uh, you know, the fans want to see scoring. The the league office, I think, deep down wants to see scoring up, possessions up. Uh, so I I think it's here to stay. Just because of the the TV, the the you know, that's better for TV, uh, and it's a prettier game. I, I like the way the game is going. Matter of fact, I think it's a, it's better for basketball. The wrestling matches. Uh, the slugfest that we used to have down in the paint, you know, all the game where you had two, you know, 25, we would always say you got $25 million out there in the parking lot. With, you remember the old rules where you had to have two <laughs> guys lifted mm-hmm. on the outside, Jeff, yeah, you remember those days? Yep. <laughs> and you put two of your high pay, two, you know, two, $25 million standing out there in the parking lot, we used to call it, <laughs> while one player went ISO. So those days are gone, and I think it's great for basketball. And now it's up to us as a team and as an organization to make sure we maximize the talent of our players to, to fit that or bring players in to fit that style of play. And I think that's what you were asking, Jeff and, and Stephen. Is, is, you know, but, again, I think we have the players on our roster that can improve. Uh, DeLon Wright, uh, one area of his game he's got to improve is his three-point shooting to be a effect because he has everything else. He can get to the paint. He can find – penetrate and kick to the three-point shooters, which is a huge thing. But to get that trigger started, you got to have a player like De- DeLon Wright to break the defense down, get into the paint, suck it in, and then find the shooters outside. Um, and so he's got to be a threat to shoot the three, and, and that's what he's going to work on this summer. 